Nia's spear. It's the perfect weapon for a water ninja. And I want to make it and show you how to make Nia's golden spear. Step one, design it out. Anytime I start a project like this, the first thing I do is to find as many reference pictures as I can and then take them into Inkscape. It may seem simple, but all I do is take these reference images, measure and make outlines. Once I have all my measurements and my outlines, it helps me to move on to... Step two, pick your materials. Wanting to continue the use of natural wood for the colors in my weapons, I decided to use a series of hardwoods for this spear. For the shaft, I'm using a one inch walnut dowel. For the spear and dragon head, I'm using cypress. For the silver parts, I'm using maple. For the dark metal parts, I'm using walnut. The gold strips, I'm using oak. And for the middle silver parts, I'm using cherry. Step three, cut out your pieces. I started by marking the pieces I needed, using a gauge to find the center, and then a compass to draw the size of the pieces I needed. I then took them to a drill press and started cutting out the holes. Before cutting out the pieces entirely, I started shaping them on a sander, because it's easier to hold them this way than it is trying to do it when the pieces are cut all small. After finishing cutting the pieces out, I shaped them on the sander. Since the spearhead and dragon head are thicker, I glued pieces of the cypress together before moving on to... Step four, carve. I drew out the designs on each piece and then took my carving tools and started carving. One thing I did after everything was carved out was to take the spearhead back to the drill press and drill a shallow hole. I mixed together some epoxy and pigment. By the way, this is way too much pigment. Don't use this much pigment. A little goes a long way. I added too much. Don't be like me. And then I added the pigment epoxy to the holes and let them cure. Step five, sand. It's everyone's favorite step. Step six, assemble. With everything ready, I started to glue and to place all of the pieces in their spot on the dowel. I cut the dowel to what I thought would be the proper length. 
and then added the bottom hilt pieces. Step seven, add finish. The last step was to add finish and to bring out all the natural wood color in the weapon. For those hard to reach places, use a cotton swab. Let the finish sit and soak before wiping it all down and then moving on to step eight, beauty shots. I love how this turned out. It looks great, and it's gonna be a great addition to my collection of LEGO Ninjago weapons. If you like this build, like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you already haven't, and share it with another Ninjago fan that you know. Leave a comment letting me know what weapon you think I should make next, and I'll see you next time.